Bids. It's your girl Clementine from Big Empress Energy. I'm sending you beautiful, bountiful blessings. Be open to receiving them. Mm -mm -mm. Me amores, thank you so much for watching. It's your girl Clementine. I record energy and people to fill. Oh, grrr. and this is our pick a card. What do your spirit guides want to tell you right now? Okay, what do you need to hear right now from your guides, your angels, and your ancestors? Okay, the way that we're gonna do it, I'm gonna show you. We're gonna have three options: one, two, and three. I'm gonna show you three different crystals, whatever number resonates whatever crystal you're called to go with that one that calls to you you can after the premiere skip ahead to your reading look at the time stamps and you can skip ahead to your reading if the reading resonate with you please comment okay I love to read the comments as well as subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so you know when I drop my new videos because it's coming in two three four times a week oh good yes baby and what I need y'all also to know is that I'm a Reiki practitioner as well as a psychic tarot reader. So with the Reiki every new and full moon I do collective candle Reiki. Check me out on Instagram at Big Empress Energy and we are as I film this a day away from the full moon in Aries. Now things is escalating. It's October. It's going to be really popping this month. Okay. There's not only one. There's two full moons. Okay. So the energies is going to be intense. If you're needing some relief, some Reiki relief, check out it. Check it out on my website, Big Empress Energy LL lc.com and check out my instagram if it's your first time because i have different videos so you can learn more okay on igtv now my loves let's get into it what i want to invite you to do right now is take some deep 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 breaths okay can i gotta inhale and exhale all right my love now I'm going to be showing you this rose quartz for group number one. This is a rose quartz sphere for group number one. For group number two, we are going with a black tourmaline. Okay, so if you're called to number two, this is a black tourmaline. And then we have Celestine. Okay, this is raw tumbled. Okay, it's a blue stone. It's very, very beautiful. It's starting to crumble right now. Okay, so if you're like leaning towards three, this is three. Okay. I love this crystal. I love all these, okay? Very powerful. I'm just going to give you a little overview to the rose quartz for number one. This is for, like, you know, love, your heart chakra, being open for to receive love and self-love, okay? We also have raw tourmaline. This is for protection and grounding at your energy to ward away bad energies as well. And we also have Celestine, and this is a blue crystal, and this we could use it for our throat chakra to activate that throat chakra so you could talk your talk, keep it real. This is also peaceful and calming, okay? So go with the crystal, go with the number that calls to you, mi amor, and you can skip ahead to your reading. Make sure with this energy, though, you're really tapping in. You could pause the video, take a few deep breaths, and maybe you might hear something. Maybe you might see something. Go with it. Trust that, okay? trust and believe in your intuition okay now let's get into this reading my love if you chose number one okay and you chose this beautiful rose quartz we're gonna find out what your spirit guys want to tell you right now okay what do you need to hear right now from your spirit guys at this time okay now can i get an okra for my number ones okra number one what you need to know my number ones right now we're gonna find out okay number ones and you in the house please like this video okay please subscribe to my channel okay number one what's popping what do your spirit guys want to tell you well they want to tell you you're very very powerful okay i'm getting a lot of yellow energy from y'all y'all very very powerful okay this is solar plexus this is giving and serving divine masculine vibes maybe you guys are a little bit more masculine or needing to tap in with that masculine energies now I before you start with me, okay, we both have feminine and masculine energies in us, okay? So stop with the, stop with the, oh, I'm not a man, though, okay? <laughs> you don't have to be a man, but oh, maybe spirits wanting you, your spirit guides are wanting you to kind of be on that frequency of, of that, um, 
control it feels like control controlling yourself self-discipline um self-discipline security saying what you say you're gonna do and following through with it oh can i get that for my number ones number ones you're needing to step up like never before okay you guys gotta make some power boss moves spirits showing me chess okay so you guys gotta be over analytical okay this is not time to rush this is time to analyze this is not analysis paralysis though because what i want to tell y'all though is if you do are having issues with your solar plexus like let's say your solar plexus is blocked one of the symptoms may be like insecurity okay insecurity like or an indecision okay indecision when you cannot make a damn decision okay so my advice for y'all my beloveds who cannot make a damn decision to save your life is to take deep breaths and see what your body is telling you okay let me tell you that your body is giving you signals your body is mad psychic okay it can pick up on what's gonna happen okay like an animal could pick up when the winds is gonna change when the weather's gonna change your body could pick up on the b s okay so if you are indecisive about something see how both choices feel in your body okay are you feeling a little tense are you feeling relaxed you could ease up if it's a little tense it might not be for you your body could be scared trying to prepare you okay if you're open to it tranquila okay do it all right um yes um i'm seeing that you guys are really connected with the sun's energy okay maybe you guys are leos as well um or just like like the color yellow all right but this is the energy of also maybe you want to eat yellow maybe you need your bananas you need your yellow peppers okay um your pepper and chinis <laughs> for my number ones all right so spirit wants you to know y'all mad powerful okay um Spirit wants you to um, almost provide for yourself. This is about self-love. This isn't about looking to other people to provide for you, to give you the answers, sway, or nothing like that. Okay? So you need to know that. Moment. I'm feeling like you guys are going to be having an opportunity to show that you believe in yourself. Okay? You guys are going to be having an opportunity to show that you believe in your damn self. Okay? So that's what's up. Okay, uh, so you might be coming up with a decision really soon and you need to prove that you believe in yourself. You're going to need to take a risk like, listen, I'm all in. I'm betting on me. When you invest in yourself, you're never going to waste. Okay, when you invest in yourself, you're never going to waste. That's what you need to know as well. Um, my number ones. We have the Ace of Swords. This is that opportunity. I'm telling you that is coming to you. This is that decision making. You decisive. You finally seen clearly. This Ace of Swords is giving us air energy. Okay. This is Libra. This is Aquarius. This is Gemini. Okay. I'm also seeing the World card. So you guys are making some big endings. Maybe you're leaving a job. You're leaving a relationship. You're leaving behind the old you. Okay. You're leaving behind insecure you okay and we're going into confidence we're going into endurance i'm seeing this world card saturn energy maybe you have just been through your saturn return or you are going through it saturn and capricorn saturn and aquarius i'm looking at you we also have the ace of pentacles okay so we have one one and then we have the ten of pan ten of wands so we have one set of ten and we have big major endings because you've been doing something you've been working so hard oh, my number ones you've been working hard spirit saying you've been putting everything on your back okay so much so that you ain't even trying to see where you going okay you guys are needing to extend and ask for help at this time start delegating maybe you need to hire help maybe you need like an assistant someone to help clean your house you need to um your partner to pick up some of the slacks and do some dishes like you need help okay i you that man spirit is saying spirit wants you to say i you that man that means help me in spanish okay you need the help you know and you grown at this point with this world card like you on that energy like, i could do it on myself like i don't need nobody here la, 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 la. you learn that that eh, kay, 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 kay. not the way okay not the way my number ones because it's like why straight yourself why work so hard why do all that when you could just ask for help when you could just be open to receive when also there's some things that has run its course now maybe you've graduated that might mean you you capped you capped at your job like there's no other spot for you at your job you capped in in school like you already finished school like there's nothing more for you to do like 
whatever it is, you hit cap on it, right? It's like no cap, you hit cap, like it's over, it's a wrap. And there's something new for you that you need to, like I said, invest in. We have the Ace of Pentacles. So you're needing to invest in, you're needing to ground your energy as well. Some of you guys may be investing in your own business, okay, with this energy. Some of you guys may be investing in just a new complete version of you okay so you ain't messing with no scrubs okay you ain't messing with nothing that's um sucking your energy any energy vampires it's like over but what y'all need to know my number ones is that you need to trust in divine time things don't happen when you want them to okay they happen when espiritu wants it to so you need to see that too with the one in the ten, you might be trying to rush something this is the energy of like my number ones y'all think the more that you do the faster you're gonna get there ah! You think the more that you do, the faster you're going to get there. Ah! That That's what you need to know is that it's not about how fast you go there. It's about how strategically you move. It's about taking those baby steps. It's about knowing you're going to finish. And when you finish, you're going to finish strong. Okay, my number ones, you guys are being tested with divine time. Okay, because you have to believe it before you can see it. You have to know before you can grow. Okay, with this energy spirit is saying that there's so much more coming to you once you close this chapter. After. Once you say yes to this new beginning, once you say yes to investing in yourself, and some of you guys, this could be changing. Some of you guys are going to be changing like your majors, changing your jobs, changing who you chill with, changing the things that you do on a day to day basis because you've been overextending yourself to the point of suffocation. Okay, um, and I'm also getting with this earth energy. This is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, and fire energy as well, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, so what I'm seeing for y'all, number ones, is that what spirit is your spirit team wants you to know is yes, invest in yourself. Yes, start that new business. Yes, side hustle. Yes, there is something that's been energy draining. Now let's talk about it. Energy leaks. Okay, energy leaks. I learned this from my mentor Natasha. Okay. I'm trying to think of her Instagram right now. Natasha, though, ch check her out, okay? I'll follow her. My point is energy leaks, what, is, what I'm picking up on. And what it, that is, is that something that you'll be giving your energy to that is so draining, okay? Now, when you stop and you put a stop on that energy leak, you're going to get so much more energy, okay? So think about it. What have you been doing so unconsciously, so subconsciously, that you are at this point where... You go and do it, but it's draining you. And think about it. Do I need to? Is this still necessary? Is this coming from lack? Is this coming from limitation? Is this coming from a worthiness wound? What is the energy leaks, my number one? Spirit wants you to know. What is the energy leak? You see it from a higher perspective. Maybe you don't need to do that all the time. Maybe you, you can ask your partner to pick up the kids every week. Maybe you can ask your partner to drop off the kids every week. Maybe you, you know, need to... Um, think about as well. Some of you guys have been paying like Netflix. You guys have been playing HBO. You guys have been paying all these other companies. But what have you? Have you invested in your own damn company? Have you invested in your own business? Have you invested in your own schooling? Have you invested in your own education? Yes, you can do both. And I'm not here to shame you. But I'm just saying some of you guys have been putting your energy on others and seeing why it's not returning to you. And it's like because you're not putting the energy back into you. Okay, so that's what you need to know right now. All right, let's see what else uh, energy what other message spirit has for y'all number ones. What other message spirit has for y'all my number ones. Oh, yes. Okay, number one, you guys are coming into money, like for real, for real. We got the fortune card, okay? So whatever this investment is going to be paying off tenfold, okay? So let this be the green light, okay? Or the yellow light, slow down. You don't have to rush. Remember divine time. But it's that gold time, baby. It's that invest time, baby. We got fortune and cheerfulness. So I feel like Spirit wants you to know right now that you have a fortune waiting for you celebrate it right now as if it's already yours okay what would you do if you already had those goals if you already had accomplished those goals what would you do okay we have fortune so with this energy of fortune, you're needing to know that at this point, you have a fortune waiting for you. You guys have a million dollar idea. You guys just need to apply it. You guys just need to stop with the energy draining, the energy leaks. We also have cheerfulness. So spirit saying like relax and let yourself have a little bit more fun than you have been. Maybe this is celebrating a friend's birthday, celebrating your birthday, um, celebrating your damn life. Cheers and toast to my accomplishments. Listen, child, like... 
like Drake says, I've never been one for the preservation of money, child. And why? Why? When you have the fortune coming to you, life is meant to be lived. Life is meant to be enjoyed, my number two. So some of y'all been, been, and you need to like let yourself have a good day, okay? Because you you saving all that money for what? If you listen, like Drake says too, I got all these blessings just to give them to others. Damn, Drake coming through for my number ones. Maybe maybe I need to listen to Drake, okay? <laughs> The Take Care album, I feel like, okay? <laughs> All right, let's see what's blocking my number ones. Wow. So we have sign. be careful of signing contracts. As we are moving into a Mercury retrograde, be careful of signing contracts. Some of you guys are going to be breaking contracts with people. This could even be marriage contracts. Um, it, it, You know, shout out to my peoples who are making those changes that are honoring themselves and their higher self. Maybe as well if you guys have been... um looking to move or, or secure or do a contract make sure you read it twice we are moving into mercury retrograde it's not it's not to scare you and to be like not to do something but it's about being careful paying attention to details reading things two three times okay reading for comprehension that's what you need to know we also have magic is immediate for my number ones it feels like things are just going to be happening really quickly for you really simultaneously for you okay so as soon as you make this decision as soon as you make the money moves that you need to you're going to see the blessings be pouring in. You're going to be see the fortune be pouring in. We also have mood as a block. So some of y'all are so moody and that's your problem. Some of you guys are seeing things like Saturn. Like you guys have like this hard daddy attitude. Like you guys are like, I can't have fun. Like I'm rigid. I got so much shit to do. Like, ta -ka -ta -ka -ta. like no wonder you're not happy, child. What are you grateful for? Mood as a block. Okay, you got to go. We're going through mood swings. All right. And spirit saying to check yourself. Magic is immediate. The moment that you make up your mind to believe it okay that you're gonna see it all right that's what y'all need to know right now for my number one now let's see what lifestyle changes y'all gonna be going through as well what spirit what's your spirit gonna say about your lifestyle changes you guys have memories you guys the memories that you guys have is too much at this point like you have been um staying in a rut because of memories okay because it's like that's what you thought you were supposed to do a lot of you guys too might be having memories of your ancestors as well as past lives at this time don't get caught up in memory lane to the fact that you're thinking about your past so much you ain't focused on your future okay um that's what i, I need y'all to know some of you guys are also needing to honor your ancestors with an altar we also have seeking and finding okay so some of you guys are looking for something new you need to go out to find it you need to seek it's okay like i'm seeing a baby bird fly the coop it's okay to seek what and when you seek so you shall find okay when you seek so you shall find okay that's what's up, number ones. Now let's see what color has a message. What color has a message for y'all? It's gonna be wearing this color, working with crystals with this color. Ooh, okay. So we got plum. Okay, this has overcome your challenges. This is like your limitations, overcoming your limitations. Okay. Also, some of you guys may be visited by your ancestors, visited by um people who have passed on or spirits in your dreams. I'm picking up on. We also have violet, create a balanced light. Okay, so that's what this right now you're on burnout. You've been trying to do too much, so you need to create more balance in your life. Instead of doing 10 things, do two things. We also have Scarlet, attract success. You guys are gonna be attracting a lot of success when you have this clarity of mind and you take action to what you have been downloading and intuiting. And we also have green, revitalize your nervous system. With this, I feel like you need to drink a lot of water. You're needing to stay hydrated, you need to stay grounded. With green, maybe also green juices, green smoothies, green candles green i'm also seeing abundance coming to you guys okay so that is freaking amazing for you guys my number ones now i'm gonna pull a card stuff about uh how you can care for yourself okay how you can care for yourself at this time we have meditate so make sure you're taking time to meditate for you guys it feels at least twice a day morning and night okay maybe as well with the crystal some of you guys may have like a lotus candle holder as well that you might want to put a tea light candle in or or lotus e things 
We also have create art. Okay, so you guys are going into a very creative time. Maybe as well with your hobbies, you're needing to expand your hobbies, create more art. This could also be digital art. And we also have health checkup. Okay, so some of you guys may be needing to visit a doctor, okay, that you have been uh, ignoring. This could even be a specialty doctor, like something that's been bothering you, some issues you've been having, all right? Now I'm going to see what goddess has a message for my number ones. So we have Cordelia, go outside. This says you have been indoors too long. Go outside and get some fresh air, okay? I need to get grounded. We also have Yemaya, goals and opportunities. Important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them as well as I'm. Leap of faith. Take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action, okay? Taking that leap of faith, that's that ace of pentacles, that's that ace of swords of beginning of something, because you over something. Now, my loves, ask a question, ask a question, ask a question. Like a yes or no type of question. We have the situation is unclear, okay? The situation is unclear. It feels like you're needing to get that clarity, though. Get that clarity of mind with that energy. So my number ones, if this reading resonates with you, please comment. Okay, love to read the comments. You could also tip in my cash app or buy me a coffee. I appreciate the energy exchange. Please make sure that you like this video and subscribe to my channel as well, okay? Thank you, guys, number one. That was so beautiful. Okay, now let's get into the reading for my number twos, okay? Can I get an oh for my number twos? Oh, number two. If you got number two, you chose a black tourmaline, okay? This is perfect for protection and for grounding. Spirit showing me red for you guys. This is giving me root chakra vibes, okay? Passion, protection. You need to protect yourself, protect your energy. That's why you chose number two. Your security may be feeling threatened, okay? Your security might be feeling threatened. Sense of security, sense of self-worth. You may be wanting to wear red, okay? Red candles. Red candles are for protection. Red candles are for, like, intimacy, romance as well. Maybe as well red roses I'm feeling for you guys. Um... Root chakra juices where I put like my bee, I put ginger, I put lemon. Root chakra, you guys may be feeling like a little unstable, okay? You guys may be feeling a little unstable. You guys may be feeling really confused. Might be working through inner child wounds, fatherhood issues, um, fa father issues. Spirit wants you to know that you, pro you can provide for yourself. You can provide security for yourself. That you are stronger than you know. That you are way stronger than you know. That your passion is your purpose, okay? Some of you guys have been doubting, but your passion is your purpose, okay? <laughs> I'm also seeing a situation where someone tests you, okay? Like, they test you. Like, they're trying to see... Like, if you could defend yourself, there. this might not be physical, obviously. It's probably, like, verbal. Like, they might be trying to play mind games with you. You guys need to stand firm in your in your presence and not be getting swayed by people, okay? Um, some of you guys need to protect yourself in terms of, like, the energy you allow yourself to hang out with, okay? Um, energy vampires. You've been hanging out with people who might be draining you. You need to protect yourself. Some of you guys may actually be doing protection spells because I'm seeing salt. Maybe you guys need to take a salt bath, okay, as well. Feels like, as well, that there's someone who you're questioning their motives. If there's someone that is in your circle and you're questioning their motives, you already know. You shouldn't have to question somebody, okay? You shouldn't have to question if they really, really there for you or not, okay? So if you have to question, you already know.
Some of you guys need to protect yourself from yourself, your own worst enemy, okay? Your inner critic. You have an inner critic in your in your head that's telling you, no, 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 you can't do that. No, 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 you're not worth that. No, 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 no. It's like, could this could be an inner mother dialogue as well. Like, you got this voice, you got it from your mama, okay? They say she got it from her mama. All the insecurities, all the inner, <laughs> inner worries, okay? It's like, that's not what we want from the mama, okay? We want some love. We want some food. We want some hips, okay? <laughs> that's it. It's, that's it. And nurturing and love and kissing. So you know how it is, child. You know how it is, child. Let's see what's popping for my numbers. What spirit, your spirit guys want you to know right now? What they want you to hear right now? Yes, someone is coming in with you, and you are going to need to put them in their damn place, Okay? And again, it could be your own inner critic. This could be somebody else, but it feels like someone is coming for you, okay? We have the Knight of Swords. They coming for you with the High Priestess. And you like, B, I already know. I already know better, so I do better, okay? And then we have Temperance. So your spirit team is with you. They're protecting you. They're saying you don't have to do the most to get the most. Ah, you don't have to do the most to get the most, okay? Okay. You know what you got to say? My ancestors got me. Whoever's coming to you, they're trying to cut you down. They're sending you bad juju, bad vibes, okay? All you need to do is pray. All you need to do is pray. All you need to do is pray about having a protective bubble over you, okay? All you need to do is pray to your angels, your ancestors, your guys, okay? Y'all need to know when I'm hearing it loud and strong for you, my ancestors don't play about me, okay? My ancestors don't play about me. So you don't even have to do nothing. You don't have to fight fire with fire. You don't have to come with someone. They kind of come spicy to you. You don't have to go spicy to them, okay? You got to tranquila porque we have temperance. We have the temperance energy. This is saying like it's bigger than you, okay? Pass it on to goddess, okay? When we have the high priestess, you need to trust your intuition, my number two, because it's spot on. You, ha you have a, a someone in your mind who you think is sending you bad vibes and bad juju, you spot on, you know who it is, okay? Temperance is saying, like, you don't have to go and be like, ah, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? Getting in somebody's face, talking about, I'm going to put Vaseline on and take these errands off. You don't need to do all that with temperance, okay? Prayer, meditation, intention, divine justice, knowing that people will get what they deserve. You don't have to be the one serving them. You're not a surfer to be the one serving them, okay? Even if you are a surfer, you're not serving them that BS, okay? Another energy is that you guys are coming into this time where you have a lot of spiritual spirituality you're trying to read about. Maybe these are books about a cult. These could be books about spirituality, about intuition, about colors, about numerology, about astrology. And it's time to read, 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 okay? It's time for you guys to... Um, get more knowledge okay because this temperance is giving us sagittarius so there's more knowledge for you guys to get you guys are hungry for knowledge okay you guys could be reading multiple books at once okay that's that energy i'm feeling for you guys we also have this high priestess so you guys are your intuition is heightening at this time you already know the dealio okay you need to trust yourself okay Woo, some of you guys are going to see someone coming at you. You're going to be able to see this situation from the outside. You're going to be very calm, very level-headed, okay? Some of you guys, you need to cut addictions out of your life, okay? This could be overly drinking, overly, you know, doing drugs, partying, uh, e overly eating just for comfort, not for nurturing, Um some of you guys have been overly sleeping, okay? Whatever it is that you've been ODing on, don't OD no more, okay? Temperance. We have the world card, okay? So you guys are having to see things from a higher perspective, okay? Um, for some of you guys, you have your grandmother's spirits around you. They protect you heavy. I feel like they have swords around you. They are protecting you guys maybe as well. Connecting with Santa Barbara, okay? Um, spirit wants you to have... Like I said, you guys are a lot more stronger than we know. That you know you have the strength card. This is also Leo energy. So now we have Leo. We have Sagittarius. So you guys could be um, fire signs. I'm also seeing air with the Knight of Swords. I see the High Priestess. It's giving us watery vibes, okay? And I'm seeing the Six of Swords. So there's something here, Spirit, saying that you know you have to move on from, okay? You have to have the strength to know it's okay to move on from, to know where you're going is better than where you've been, okay? Some of you guys, the strength is to like not to punch someone in the face when they come for you. It's to have temperance. It's to believe in that divine justice, to know your spirit guides got you. You don't have to act all rowdy, okay?
okay um as well as what i'm seeing allow yourself to celebrate have fun cheers to your accomplishments i'm seeing that you guys may be as well needing to spend more time with children because children are, are gonna allow you to remember how to play how to laugh how to have fun so blessings if you do have the ability to connect with a child okay um a child's love we have the six of swords so maybe you guys may be wanting to move or relocate or you're planning for that get ready to plan get ready some of you guys are moving to a new house getting multiple houses this house might be by the water okay so get ready to plan get some of you guys if you've been wanting a house near the water this could be also a sign to do that okay um as well and when i'm saying water it don't have to be ocean this could be a river this could be a lake this could be a pond this could be a stream okay child don't get me twisted i'm just saying i'm seeing a lot of water type energy water is very cleansing water is very calming okay that's what y'all need to know as well You guys have someone in your in your ranks who's an enemy, okay? We have thoughts, okay? You guys have been thinking too much. We have money, okay? So money is coming into your life, child. But thought, you guys are overly analyzing something, overly thinking about something, thinking about things you coulda, woulda, shoulda said, okay? So let yourself breathe. I think you guys need to meditate, okay? You guys need to meditate. You guys need to breathe. And not just one time. Like, it feels like throughout the day, like maybe once a day, well, I mean once a day, once an hour, you're taking mindful breaths, okay? Um, Just to slow down your mind because it's moving a mile a minute. We also have money. So I feel like you guys may be wanting to save your money, invest in your money. This could be saving for that new house, saving for a relocation, um, saving for, it feels like I want to say it sounds a rainy day, okay? Saving like for a rainy day. Um, but money is coming to you. Some of you guys, if you are in an intuitive business, now it doesn't need to be a reader. You could be intuitive at anything. It's going to be increasing. Any Every time you make a decision based off your intuition or where you're being led, you're going to get more money. But it's like some of you guys are going to overly think it. Like, oh, I'm not qualified or oh, I can't do that. Listen, if spirit put it in you, it's for a reason, okay? It's for a reason, child. So don't get it twisted. Do not get it twisted. Okay. So what I'm seeing here, we have trash magic as one of your blocks. So what Spirit wants you to know with trash magic is, well, one man's trash could be another one's treasure. Just because, you know, something looks like it doesn't have hope or whatever, like you can make magic out of anything. Everything can be reused, recycled, and all of that. So with trash magic, seeing like kind of some of you guys are revamping things, okay? Things that you thought was, you know, trash, things that you thought wasn't going to be giving you what it is that you needed, it's going to come through for you some of you guys may be getting more into making your own jewelry as well or creating some magic with your hands okay this could be herbal magic um create like creative like crafty magic okay but trash magic is like listen someone's gonna take the same trash and scraps and make something beautiful so don't be so quick to discard the ends to discard the uh remains of something okay it's like they're like find value in the in in the little things. We also have tribe of dreams. Okay, so some of you guys, I feel like you have your ancestors, your angels come to you a lot in your dreams. So make sure that you're writing down your dreams, the messages that you're getting. You could be getting divine guidance, divine downloads on that next move you need to make. Okay. We also have the primary problem with language is it's magic. So y'all need to be careful with the words that you're saying because you're casting damn spells. That's why they call it spelling. Okay, because you cast spells with these words. So so, like again like that if someone comes to you if someone steps to you be mindful of the words that you speak because this you can curse someone so if you want to yaki 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 and be like f you da 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 you're cursing someone okay and that's going to come back as well to you so be very mindful okay about the words that you use 
that language is magic, that whatever we're saying, we're putting out there, the energy is getting started, okay? And the energy will not be destroyed. It will be transmuted, okay? It will be transformed into something that maybe that wasn't what you had originally intended. So be careful about the things that you say um, as well. If someone wants to talk spicy with you, you ain't talking spicy with them. I know better. I do better. I could do bad all by myself is what I'm hearing. Okay. I know better. I do better. And I could do bad all by myself. Okay. So we have plum. Okay. We have this one for number one as well. Overcome your challenges. So your spirit team wants you to know that you can overcome these challenges. Okay. Whatever it is that you are going through. When I'm getting plum, purple candles, I feel like spirit you with is also interested in you lighting purple deep, deep purple candles. I'm talking about sometimes you get a purple candle, it looks black. That's how purple it is. We also have Auburn, ground yourself, okay? So you're needing to ground your energy, okay? Some of you guys may be dyeing your hair Auburn, okay? As well, it feels like a lot of fall foliage, so making sure you're going out into nature, especially during this fall time, is going to be very inspiring for you. We have coral, okay? This says allow flow and synchronicity into your life, okay? Allow flow and synchronicity into your life. So you guys may be seeing a lot more angel numbers, okay, at this time. You guys might be needing to um, do something that you've never done before because you're flowing. We also have Azor, protect yourself, and that's been the theme of this uh, reading number two, especially with this ground, this tourmaline, this is grounding, which is literally Auburn, and protection, azure, protect yourself, okay? And with this card is blue. So what I'm getting with this is that you're protecting yourself with communication by some of the things that you say and some of the things that you choose not to say, okay? It's gonna start a ripple effect. So number two, God damn, if you're not mindful about what you speak and what you say after this reading, I don't even know why you watch it. I also see Rose here. This is that red energy. This says attract a relationship. And with this, I feel like a relationship with your spirit team, angels and ancestors, they might want roses at their altar. Okay. They might want them roses at their altar. Now let's see what um, lifestyle changes my number twos may be um, prompting to make. Okay. By their spirit team, what lifestyle changes I may be prompted to make. Wow, what's uh, freaking amazing because you have religion and spirituality and we have the temperance card that's very religious and and spiritual card. Okay, so you guys may be um, questioning a lot with religion and spirituality, wanting to learn more about it. It feels like spirits wanting you um, to connect deeper, okay? This could be with scripture or empowering um, spirituality, however you are being called, okay? Some of you guys, your ancestors might want a Bible or whatever that they used to read on their altar as well. We also have body changes, okay? So you guys may be changing your body, want to change the way that you look. This could be getting a piercing, a tattoo, um, wanting to change your physical appearance in some way, plastic surgery, it's like a butterfly coming out of cocoon, whatever it is that you've been wanting, okay, spirit is saying here with this energy, it's time to change your, your body, the physical appearance, so you can change the way you felt inside. We also have new exercise programs. So some of you guys may be wanting to change your body. You might want to get stronger. We do have the strength card. Maybe you want to tone up. Maybe you guys want to go running, okay, with this energy exercise program. So if you've been looking for a sign, like, should I start exercising? <laughs> this is it, okay? We also have end of an era, okay? So some you're closing out a big cycle, okay, in your life. So this is the end of an era. So say goodbye to the old ways. The old ways used to do things. The old ways used to eat. The old ways used to exercise. The old ways used to look. The old um, maybe religion or spiritual beliefs that you had, they might be changing and growing every day. We also have sobriety, okay? And we had the temperance card for ya too. So like I said, you're not... Don't drink, don't smoke too much, okay? With sobriety, you guys may be wanting to be sober or just go on a detox. There might be something that you're you're you need you're to detox from, okay? Sobriety is just like, get serious. Spirit's like, get a little serious about your body, about your health, about what you put into it, okay? And also, I'm getting sobering thoughts, okay? So, like, don't be too prideful. Don't be so prideful and stubborn that you won't change when you're being prompted to by your guides. Okay, I feel like there's one more self-care card. It's 
said I said one. I said one more. I said I said one. Okay. <gasps> yes! Barrett, make an altar. Like I said, you guys need to make an altar. So we have confirmation. This card says make an altar. Get your water, get your candles, get your roses, get your scripture. Um, some of his crystals. Okay, make an altar. We also have spend time with friends. Okay, spend time with friends of like minds. Okay, people who you can trust. Okay. We also have spend time with animals. Spend time with your friends who have animals, okay? Some of you guys may be wanting to get new animals. Pardon. You might want to wanting to adopt an animal or spend time with some animals. We also have hydrate, okay? So drink lots and lots and lots of water because you guys are needing to detox, okay? Put away the tequila and drink some damn water, okay? Number two, put away the tequila and drink some damn water, my number twos. Now, I'm going to see what goddess has a message for you guys. Number two, what goddess has a message for you? What goddess has a message for my number twos? What goddess has a message for my number twos? Y'all, y'all magical as hell. Damn, y'all some witchy ass group. We have Rhiannon, sorceress. You're a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. Ah, and you have Mother Mary, Mother Mary expect a miracle. Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. And on the bottom, we have Irene, peace. There's no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully. I love that number two. So if that reading resonates with you, number two, please like this video, comment, subscribe to my channel you can also tip hit my cash app or buy me a coffee i appreciate the energy exchange the links are in the description box thank you wow number two what a beautiful reading let's get into number three okay can i get it oh for my number threes oh number three if you chose number three you chose this beautiful blue crystal okay this is celestine and it is gorgeous okay this is giving me peace it's giving me tranquility this is giving me what that throat chakra do okay um you guys are maybe as well communicating or wanting to write a book or communicate maybe you're a speaker or something like this i'm getting a lot of green energy for you guys so speak from your heart, okay? Speak from your heart, my number threes. You guys have a lot of green energy. Needing to get grounded, it feels like abundance as well. So a lots of abundance vibes here. Get grounded, going into nature, having a clear heart, okay? Feels like you're going through and tending to your heart. Maybe you had just went through some challenges with your heart, heartbreaking times or something like this, okay? This could also be about your health, okay? Eating more green, incorporating more greens into your food, into your drinks and everything like that. You know, spirulina, spinach, kale. Damn, that remind me have some kale in the fridge and some carrots. I need to get to them ish right now. Uh, what else? Mm, now I'm like, I gotta make a green smoothie today after that. After this, number three, I'm gonna make a green smoothie. I challenge you to do the same. Okay, I'm put some kale in my. I love kale, lemon, ginger, okay, in case you're wondering. Um, yeah, that's my gold smoothie. Some apples in there. All right, Spirit, what message do we have for number three? What is, what do the Spirit guys, of the, everyone watching number three, want them to know right now? So stay grounded, stay grounded, stay grounded by meditating, by putting your feet in the grass, by going outside, getting them light codes from spirit, from the sun. Um, you guys are earth babies, maybe fairy babies, like you, you connect with fairy energy, you connect a lot with earth energy, you guys could be herbalist or you know, work with plantitas or you need more plantitas in your house, you need more plants in your house, okay? While wow, you guys are going through big, big endings, okay? Big endings. Wow. A wealth of information like that is coming to you. Okay, you guys are what you need to know is that you're going through some sort of like awakening, okay, where you're starting to change the way in which you're seeing things. Okay. Um, I also feel like you guys are very successful, okay, or you're about to be very successful here. We have six, six, and then we have seven. So we have six and then seven. You guys might be seeing the number six, six a lot. This is about balance okay we also have the wheel of fortune with the hanged man okay so with this i feel like you're 
needing to look at something from a higher perspective and change the way that you see things so the things that you see that you're looking at change okay the things that you're seeing change because you've been doing something in a way that it needs to be revamped it needs to be updated it needs to be revised okay and you've been going back and forth about it like should i do this should i not like i don't know if i want to change it like everything's cool like you guys might have a lot of earth energy towards Virgo capricorn i'm also seeing gemini i'm also seeing pisces okay seeing the planet jupiter as well and it's like you've been going back and forth about something okay spirits wanting you to see it from the other perspective the hanged man some of parts of you might need to die though okay this could be like it feels like an inner critic we have the queen of swords in the reverse it could be that mother type energy in your mind okay you need to have that confidence in yourself confidence to be independent confidence to speak up for yourself right this is the queen of swords air um, communication so that's why you were drawn to this crystal number three with the queen of swords in the reverse you guys are also needing to protect yourself against something that no longer is serving you okay you're needing to choose things that are in alignment with your spirit when we have the lovers card choosing something in alignment with what it is that you love this might moving might be moving from just like loving the 3d shit to loving more 5d shit so instead of like putting all your love in a relationship you're putting it in like the visions that you have for yourself okay you're putting it into your spirituality you're putting it into your own you know your your spirit at this time i'm seeing with the six of wands that whatever this decision is that you have to make like there's something that you've been doing it's not ma making you happy it's get, making you feel unsatisfied like there's more to life there's more pieces of the puzzle this can't be it okay so parts of you are needing to die so they can be reborn okay parts of you are needing to shed okay with this energy i feel like you guys are having like mood swings or you guys are going up and down up and down with something very like indecisive but you're needing to choose something like that's best for you not sometimes that's best for your partner that's best for the group but more in alignment with what you love i see with the six of wands you're going to be very successful in this people are going to be admiring you people are going to be loving what it is that you're doing what it is that you're putting out there they're going to be eating it up they're going to be picking at the crumbs that's how admired and highly respected y'all are going to be here what spirit is saying here with the wheel of fortune it feels like a, like heavy emphasis on changing your perspective and then your like your whole life is about to change what i'm seeing as well as observe don't absorb okay observe don't absorb so you could be in the midst of the bs you could be in the midst of a bs s storm okay a bs <laughs> A BS storm, okay? And just because you are in the middle of it doesn't mean you have to be soaking up the energies of all the BS people want to throw at you, okay? You guys need to have protect yourself, okay? Remove yourself from the situation. Not me, not now. Say no to things. This is about being independent as well with the Queen of Swords. This could be divorce, um, divorcing yourself from, from decisions, okay? Divorcing yourself from, like, attaching very deeply to what other people are expecting or wanting of you okay um with this queen of swords i feel like you are just being very independent you guys are trailblazers your spirit guides are saying that you guys are trailblazers you're not supposed to do things in the way that other people have done them you are very original you are very like independent um your perspective is your power your perspective is in your power like you see things different than other people do and it's not your job to convince them it's not your job to persuade them whoever is in alignment with you will be attracted to you like flies and like bees to, like bees and honey okay like bees and flowers they're going to be attracted to you so whenever you make this decision that you're going back and forth on okay lessen your load okay lessen your load you guys could be trying to do way too many things and it's about your intention okay it's about your intention and keeping your integrity it's not about overextending yourself trying to be this for everybody okay i'm also seeing with this will of fortune that you guys are ending something i think this is ending like self-sacrifice or always trying to prove yourself to other people or being a people pleaser this needs to end you're needing to make decisions that please yourself because right now there's some un like unsatisfaction with yourself with your path with your journey at this time we have the lovers card some of you guys could as well be 
that feels like you're going to be making, making a decision that's going to be reaping a lot of rewards for you, okay? As well as some of you guys may be um, connecting with soul family, soul partners that are going to help you, okay? So if you've been waiting for soul family, soul partners, I feel like you're going to be call, calling that in by being independent and not hanging out with people who are in alignment with you. So first you have to protect yourself and like kind of cut those cords, burn those bridges, um, so you don't go back to the past, okay? So you can invite that lover in alignment with you. So you can back invite the soul family in alignment with you. So you can stop hanging out with energy vampires or drains, okay? Oh, we got love and the lovers. So yes, yeah, some of you guys here are going to be getting a lover or hanging out with more people that you love, okay? Doing more things that you love, okay? So what Spirit wants you to do is choose love. Choose um, from your heart chakra, okay? Choose from your heart chakra. What does your heart want to do, okay? How does your heart feel about the situation? We also have um, falseness, okay? So some of you guys, it feels like this could be like, I feel like you guys are denying almost what you want. Okay. So what you need to know is never settle. Do not settle. Everything at the bottom settles. Okay. What you need to know with this false is, is don't put on airs. Don't lie about what it is that you want. Don't try to make it so someone else is more comfortable around you. Like stop being fake. Okay. Stop being fake. Stop hanging out with fake people. That's why you get being um, unsatisfied here with the seven of pentacles. Okay. There's something that's you know what it is. It's not giving you that joy. So stop pretending like it is. We also have journey and merchant. Some of you guys might be going traveling or going traveling to go shopping. Okay. Some of you guys may be a, like a business and you need, you're traveling for your business as well. Or if this is not about a physical journey, it could be about like the metaphorical journey. Okay. So maybe you guys are on a journey to, um, be in business for yourself, right? Be your own boss, be a merchant, sell, sell goods. We have scholar though. So there might be more to learn about this business, more to learn about this purchase. Um, there could also be a book that you've been wanting to read. It's time to read it. Okay. Some of you guys may be choosing to take a course in something that you love learning. Like this might be a tarot course or a numerology course or, astrology but this is something that you love and it's something that might also be helping you in your own personal business or to start a side business as well now let's see what energy is blocking you Break this cycle. Okay. Break this cycle. So that's why we have the hanged man. Spirit wants you to look at something from another perspective, like a higher perspective. Almost like don't take it personal. It's always spiritual. Break the cycle. You guys may be breaking generational curses, gener generational trauma as well. There might be something that you've been spinning your wheels on. You're needing to stop it rise above it break this cycle some of you guys this is by communicating having your um needs heard protecting yourself protecting your energy we have snake medicine okay so i feel like you guys are going through a transformation you're needing to fulfill your space with things that are going to help in your transformation some of you guys may be getting into herbal remedies herbal tinctures um, herbal oils, okay, working with plants um, as well. But it feels like you're going through a big transformation. It's like, if you knew me back then, allow me to reintroduce myself. We also have breaking news, not normal, okay? So some of you guys need to take a break from the news, from, from media sources, because what's going on in this world is not normal, and it's messing with your frequency. It's in, cool to stay informed, but again, observe, don't absorb. We have breaking news, not normal, okay? I feel like some of you guys may also be getting some surprise, some surprising news, okay? Um, another thing, your individuality is being um, called up. So spirits wanting you to 
almost it's okay not to be normal okay it's okay to kind of break the cycle to not go in and fit into the molds that people had for you okay um some of you guys may be wanting to as well make your own videos film yourself or be more in front of the camera as well is what i'm seeing break the cycle it feels like of low confidence of low self-esteem um of working harder not smarter um some of you guys need to make a lot more room and space in your life Okay, that means lessening your obligations, doing more of what you love, or having independence. Okay, some of the life changes spirits talking about you right now is leaving. So some of you guys are leaving. Um, yep, leaving behind something. This could that's not serving you at this time. You're closing that portal. You're breaking the cycle. Wheel of Fortune. That's the changes. Some of you guys are um leaving, and it's gonna wherever you're going here with the Six of Wands. You're gonna be adored. You're gonna be admired. It's going. You're gonna spiritual. People are going to look at you and be like, wow, you've come a long way. And we never thought that it was going to be like this for you. But damn, you to go. OK, <laughs> we also have be true to you. OK, so you're needing to um, do what it is that you love. OK, be authentic. Keep it real with yourself. Keep it real with others. That queen of swords. Nobody's more real than the queen of swords. In the reverse, there could be an energy of being a little bit um too real. Okay, so make not too real, but a little bit rough around the edges with your communication. So have compassion with your communication with other people. Okay, you can be gentle, you can be compassionate, but still have boundaries. Okay, so be true to you. Some of you guys, that's leaving behind something that's not serving you. We have welcomed the new. Okay, so wow, you're leaving and you're welcoming in the new by being true to you. You. We also have gracefully aging. Some of you guys may be feeling like you're getting real old. Like, don't talk to me and don't come for me because, you know, I have a lot of gray hair, okay? I'm aging gracefully. <laughs> gracefully aging. Spirit wants you to know that you're not too old to pursue that dream. You're not too young to pursue that dream. You are exactly at the right age with the right experience that you need, okay? So don't look at yourself and think you're too old to do something because a lot of people who are very successful don't even start till they get old you know, older. So don't even worry about your age. Okay. Uh, we also have emotions. So I feel like your emotions are going up and down. You're needing to observe your emotions. Okay. Don't attach to, do not attach to your emotions. Being true to you is going to be leaving though. You might be leaving some people behind by being true to you. That's another thing. Now, let's see what color has a message for y'all. Okay. So, wow. You guys are very powerful. So much blue here. We have sapphire, the throat chakra. This says regenerate your body. Okay. We also have here, what I'm, what I was being drawn to was the black and the rainbow. Okay. The dark night of the soul. So some of you guys can heal your dark night of the soul with Reiki. Reiki is a rainbow. Okay. Connect to spirit in nature. Okay. Ground yourself. Go out into nature. That green energy. Black, find richness from the dark night, okay? So with this energy, some of you guys might be going through a dark night of the soul, but you're needing to see what is the beauty in this dark night? What is it trying to show you, okay? Uh, what can you create from this dark night? What changes are you making from this dark night? We have peach, inhale a breath of life. So make sure you guys are doing deep breaths, especially before you speak, okay, to other people because they could be testing and challenging you. And we have chocolate, nourish your body body and soul. So some of you guys here um, may be wanting to eat a lot of chocolate at this time, okay? Um, doing things that make your body and soul feel good. That's going to help you as well with this dark night of the soul or any heavy emotions that you may be processing or going through at this time. Now I'm going to pull some cards and see how you can care for yourself, number three, at this time. How your spirit guides, angels, and ancestors want you to care for yourself. This is too funny. This is too funny. So we have, ooh, connect with the earth. Like I said, ground your energy, very green. Connect with the earth. You guys may be connecting with fairies. We have create art. Okay, so be very, um, this is a creative way to transmute your energy with art. This could also be graphic art. 
art. You don't have to be an artist to do art. It's just really relaxing for your soul and your body. You guys also have chanting. You have ground yourself. Like I've been saying this whole reading, ground your energy, ground yourself. Chanting, this is connecting to your throat chakra. You guys may want to chant OM or any um, mantras to yourself, positive affirmations that are going to be awakening your throat chakra, okay? We also have pleasure, okay? So allow yourself to receive pleasure. Self-pleasure, pleasure from a trusted lover, okay? Um, but allow yourself to feel good. Prioritize your pleasure, okay? We also have clear your energy field. So you guys might be, um, it feels like you need to like clean your house and then smudge it like with some Palo Santo, some sage, a smoke blend, incense, prayer. Clear your energy field. But it feels like just not only yourself, but your home. Another way to clear your energy field is with prayer, envisioning a white light over you got over your body. And again, a protective smoke blend. Okay, I'm seeing a dragon's blood sage bundle right now. In my third eye, which is also very good for protection. Now I'm going to end the reading, see what goddess has a message for y'all, what goddess has a message for you. Bridget, don't back down. Stand up for what you believe is right. Hathor, receptivity. Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others, okay? And then we have Sekhmet, be strong. So a lot of Egyptian goddesses here. You are stronger than you think you are, and your strength assures a happy outcome, okay? So number three, that is a beautiful reading. If it resonates with you, please comment. Okay, let me read comments. You can also like this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, you can also tip, hit my cash app, buy me a coffee. I appreciate the energy exchange, and I'm speaking abundance tenfold into your life. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, at Big Empress Energy. And if you're interested in collective candle Reiki on a full or new moon, we're coming up on the full moon. We have actually one day until the full moon in Aries. Um, it's $12.12. .12. Okay, go to my website, Big Empress Energy, LLC.com, so you can secure your spot and follow me on Instagram so you can get the messages as well. I post daily. I'm sending you guys so much love and blessings. Bye.